Hey everyone, this is Liz of Consumed by Books, and this is what I got in my mailbox this week. I got this awesome hat, actually a while ago, um, but Nicole from Word for Teens also bought a hat like this. They're both from Madhouse Designs on Etsy, and I went to the to the shop because she linked it on Twitter, and I saw this hat and I really liked it. I feel like I should be at a mad tea party when I wear it. Anyways, let's talk about the books and whatnot that I got this week. From Holly Kupala's Tell Me a Secret blog tour, I won a little bit of swag. I won a Tell Me a Secret magnet, which is all sparkly, and I'm pretty sure Holly made this. Um, and I also got some stickers and bookmarks. So thank you, Holly, and I'm really excited to read Tell Me a Secret because I've heard great things. And from, I believe, Kate of I Just Want to Sit Here and Read, I got a Change of Heart and a Melissa Marr bookmark, so these are both really cool. I haven't read any of the um, Melissa Marr books, but all of the covers are really pretty, so I'll definitely have to try one out sometime. And she also sent me this little bracelet, which says, Solitary. Aaliyah of Pop Culture Junkie was getting rid of some arcs, so she sent me Peace Locomotion. And she also sent me some Willow bookmarks, and I'm pretty sure that Aaliyah actually made these, so these are very cool, Aaliyah, thank you very much. I got a couple things from the library. Eh, there we go. <laughs> I got The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, which is by Stephanie Meyer. Um, Eclipse was my favorite Twilight book, and I enjoyed the Twilight series overall. I didn't think it was great, but like I said, this is an Eclipse novella, so I think that it should be a really entertaining read. And I also got The Dark Divine, which is by Brie Despain. Um, I feel like most other people have already read this and loved it, um, so I'm really excited to give it a try. And I've also mentioned a couple times that I volunteer at my library, and one of the things they had me doing last time I was there were shelving audiobooks, and when I was there I saw that they had The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins on audio CD, so of course I had to get it, and Catching Fire, also by Suzanne Collins. I started listening to this one on Friday, and I think that the reader does Hamish and Effie Trinket really well. I'm not as fanatical about um, how she does Katniss's more emotional parts, but I'll listen to a bit more of it and see if it grows on me. And then I did buy some things this week. Reaching over to grab those. So I like to have all my little piles organized before I start filming. So I got The Tales of Beetle the Bard, which is by J.K. Rowling. I loved Harry Potter, so I cannot wait to read this. I made another trip to Half Price Books, only this time I only got two things. I sold a couple of books and I was also acquiring more things for a contest. But there I got People of the Book, which is by Geraldine Brooks, and Sweet Franchise, I hope I said that right, I don't speak French, which is by Irene Nimirovsky. Um, again, I'm sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of the last name there. And then I also got the 50th anniversary edition of to Kill, a, to Kill a Mockingbird, which is by Harper Lee. Isn't this, like, just edition just gorgeous? I love it. I think it's so pretty. And I also got Paper Towns, which is by John Green. I haven't read any books by John Green, but I also have a copy of Looking for Alaska, which is right above my Neil Gaiman books, if you can see it. And I think John Green is awesome because A, he is one half of the blog, the vlog brothers with his, with his brother Hank, bless, sorry, that came out a little funny. Number two, he is a nerd fighter. And number three, he went to Kenyon College, which also happens to be my very own alma mater. So you guys should um, post in the comments and yell at me to read John's books. I'll probably start with Looking for Alaska because I just heard that that one's incredible. And I also got a couple swaggish type things. Also from Etsy, I got a Mocking Jane necklace. And this is from Angie's store. Ah, uh, there we go. That's just what the shop is called, Angie's store. Um, and I'm really excited to wear this. I'll definitely have to wear it when I'm reading Mocking Jane and in the weeks until then and long after I'm done. So it's very pretty. Thank you, Angie's store. And I also got the soundtrack to Jane Eyre the Musical. I have not seen Jane Eyre the Musical, and I haven't really had a chance to listen to this because it just came yesterday, but I think it's going to be really awesome because Jane Eyre is a great book. If you haven't already read it, then you should. And I also got a 
planner for the blog so um, I can, you know, write down when I schedule posts or if I read an arc way before it's released, like Revolution, I can write down the release date and be like, oh, this is about when I should probably post my review. So anyways, that's everything that I got this week and I can't wait to hear about what you guys got. Happy reading!